Oh, it's the end of the day. I thought I'd, uh, I forgot really to uh, record this earlier on. But uh, I was out with Tony, so all the the usual ways I do things uh, has gone a bit tip topsy-turvy. He's out there detecting with my CTX. Right, I managed to get the top off. I'm sure I put my opener in the bag, but I can't find it. Anyway, <laughs> I managed to get the top off on the bike. There's a sharp edge on it, but it sort of foamed up a bit, so I've not got so much beer left. <laughs> and uh, it, this time it is winter spiced porter. So yes, winter spice porter. But I tell you what, I today I have found an epic relic. This relic is unbelievable. It's probably, it might even be one of the best relics I've ever found. It could be of international importance. This could rewrite English history. It could rewrite world history. It's really epic. But I'm not gonna show you what it is. Um, I'm going to show you later when this this clip will come out as soon as I get home I'll upload this clip here of me drinking this lovely beer and then later on tonight about uh, Seven or eight o'clock when I finish render editing in it and rendering it and everything else. I'll put it up but yeah, this 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 um, This relic could even involve the Knights Templar Woohoo! A nice template it looks oh, you know, it's looking really spectacular you know the Knights Templar could be involved with this this relic I could have the Ark of the Covenant in this field well, oh I've said too much right let's pour some beer oh yeah this yeah this phoned up so <laughs> it's like went off like a champagne bottle this thing did oh look how dark it is oh yeah it went off like champagne and subsequently it kind of foamed up a bit and I've lost a bit. <laughs> I've lost a bit. Oh yeah, this, this relic, unbelievable relic, it really is. Yeah, tones out there swinging and uh, I'm going to... Oh, smell... Oh, what does it say about it? It says winter spiced porter, spiced, so it means it's got stuff in it. Uh, malted barley, uh, torrified wheat, whatever that is, yeast hops, cinnamon, cin it's got cinnamon, and allspice, it's got allspice in it. So it's probably going to taste absolutely awful. <laughs> oh yeah, a winter's brew, this is, oh yeah, this, this relic is, oh, when you see it, you'll go, <gasps> you'll go, wow, cleggy. You better not report that one to the fines liaison officer until the end of the month. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely got spice in it. It's not too overpowering, which is nice. Sometimes when they really, they sort of reheap it in, don't they? And sometimes it can be damn right horrible. But this ain't too bad. Oh, what was I going to talk about? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Um, I got a call, uh, email back from Coil Tech asking them about the two box system, maybe making one for the GPX. And they've said they're not interested. Ugh. So uh, I'm going to try and look into making one of those little short metal detectors, one with um, a non motion on it. You can get non motion discriminating detectors. So instead of like a like a pinpointer, it just gives you a tone, and like when you pull the, the the pinpointer on on your metal detector, it just gives you a solid tone. But that's all metal. But you can get them that, that, that do um, discrimination, so you can tell what metal it is. So I get a little toy. I make up a little tiny short metal detector with a little five-inch coil, and I might get one of those hand twist argers. If I get one about the same size as the coil that goes on the end. And I can, instead of digging down to it, I'll just plot this thing in, twist it round, round and round and round, and go, go all the way down to the object. I don't know what will be quicker though, digging the hole by hand, or just putting this uh, arger in. Um, I was thinking about using putting a drill on the end, but I think it just might, it just might, the, the width of the arger just might be too big. Um, yeah. 
so yeah I'm gonna try different things and then I can set the, the GPX up because there is a deep setting on it there is a, a, a there's a very deep setting but the problem is the CTX can't see it so it's so deep that the CTX can't tell tell you what metal it is that's the problem so um, yeah I'm gonna get one of those I think and I'll, I'm gonna give that give that a go you know I like to experiment I'm always experimenting my, old, my, my parents were always complaining, oh, he's not doing another experiment. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, when you see this relic come out of the ground, you're going to go, <gasps> you're going to be blown away. It's epic. Absolutely epic. Mm. I'll tell you what, Tone's getting on really well with my uh, CTX. He's finding good, he's finding little things and big things. He says it's much better than the dais. <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> he says that dais is a load of rubbish. <laughs> right. Before I lose about 50 subscribers, I better, I better sign off. <laughs> right, I'll upload that video a bit later on tonight. Cheers!